assassinated, my character to be assassinated, everything that I worked for to up to black women. I made I made five chicks tapes about about black love, about a black relationship, about a ghetto relationship at that. Like you feel me? Like when did I become this person? Like my favorite song on the last chicks tape that I put out was Beauty in the Benz. And that was a record that with Snoop Dogg that I loved. And instead of me even being inside of the video, like, like really take me in for a second. Instead of me even being in the video, and this is before all this, instead of me being, being in the video, I made the video all about the empowerment of black women. There's nothing but different types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors, um, um, ages, that just shows the, the, the love in, in, in what I'm doing. And it's like all of a sudden, a narrative comes out with no factual evidence, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. And it's like, yo, I, I, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I understand, like, and I support the whole movement of, of protecting black women, but I wanna speak on something. And sometimes, you know, I know I'm not always in the right place to speak on things, but this is something that I went through and so I feel like I'm able to speak on it. I am all for protecting black women. That is something that is the most, one of the most important things that needs to be taken serious and awareness needs to be brought to. And regardless, if, this debacle, regardless of what you guys think happened, if this situation caused you guys to pay more attention and more awareness to protecting black women, then I'm fine that I had to be dragged through the dirt for that. But I want y'all to understand something. It's a problem when it becomes that black, uh, protecting black women doesn't mean to protect black men. That, that doesn't make sense. From the beginning of time, when you really think about how this works, like from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage. And, and from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage, white man and white woman, white girl and white man, I mean, I mean, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. When you guys start making it like a put black men down and protect the black women, I'm not saying you guys, I don't mean to make it like, oh, you're attacking. But when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black, putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like, okay. Well, who's going to protect black women? Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. It's not the Spanish man. It's not the man who it's, it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese man. It's not none of those men. It's, it, it is who is who is it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who in, at, in, in times who aren't the people who uh, inflict certain issues and, and mental issues and certain things that girls go through like. Black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that, 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 that women go through. Because of, at the end of the day, like the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around, some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like you gotta remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely because I don't want anybody to take this out of context. If the man is supposed to be the, the head and a woman is supposed to be the neck, y'all gotta think about this. In order for the head to move, in order for the head to move left, right, whatever it is doing, it needs the guidance of the neck. It needs the guidance of the woman. It, in order for me to smell and use my five senses on my face, for me to lean in or whatever the case is, I still need to, I still need to use the neck. I still need to be guided by a woman. So regardless, it's like, I don't feel like I should be torn down. If anything, before y'all know the story, like learn the story first, learn the factual parts of the story first, and then come at me and be like, yo, you need to fix this and fix that if that's what you feel like I did. But instead, I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like, now I'm the poster boy for I don't like black women. But anyways, let's get into this. I want to get into this because it's very important for me to just say this. I'm not here to bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus. But it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character be assassinated for things that are not even really true. Like, and, and for falsified narratives and information. Let's start this off. When the original, original uh, a report came out and it was a TMZ report about this, that, and the third, and there was gunshots and Kylie Jenner's house and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave y'all all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail and this, that, and the third and Megan getting arrested and da, 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 da. Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans, like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever. This is like 
I don't get. I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, uh, issue. Two days later, the TMZ report come out. The TMZ reports and they have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan. You see me. And you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and and blah, blah, blah. And everything I'm saying is is public record. You can go back and look at this shit. You can go back and and see it. Like you feel me? So they say, oh, okay, you know, um, the the. You see her out of the car, she's getting out of the car, she's hopping, it looks bad, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt bad watching it because it made her look bad, and it didn't make her look good. It didn't make any of us look good. And I didn't want that for her, I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested, or when it looks like we all got arrested, the memes start. Now I wanna really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something. And I really just want you to take this in, like, she is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her where it's like she's going through a lot she goes through a lot she deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis and because of that she's not used to you know and not even just because of that but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much we've always looked at her as like yo that's on that's hip-hop sweetheart like she's she's nice she's talented whatever the case is cool and because of that like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her where the memes are like, yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain. Ah, ha, 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 ha. She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So it gets down to this point now where it's like, now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really knows what's happened, but nobody has ever said she got shot. Nobody has ever said she got shot. Not TMZ, not the police report at this point. Nothing is saying that she got shot. Soon as she sees herself on video with the bikini and the things like that, and it looks bad, she then comes out and says, yo, the narrative of me getting cut by glass, it's just not true. She doesn't point at nobody or anybody or say anything or anything like that. She just says the narrative that whatever came out of me being cut by glass is not true. I was shot in my feet with the intention to harm me and put uh, harm and danger upon me, right? So, okay, cool. Like, all of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing, like, little subliminal fingers, like, count your days, and, like, I won't be around, and he's shooting at feet, and, like, little funny things that they start doing, and I'm kind of like, damn, hold on, where are y'all about to take this? Because y'all told me not to make a statement, so I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out where y'all, where y'all taking me to, I don't, I don't get it. So, then, the, uh, at, at this point, she goes, she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever cases. She waits. She doesn't go on, you know, a time when it's just a regular time. For y'all don't, who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on, but y'all didn't know what was going on. She went live on my birthday with all her jewelry on, da 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 And then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jewelry thing is, is like, she, my bad. She knew that it wasn't a situation where... Uh,